All right, guys, we're here in the old garage, and we're going to uh, do an impeller mod on the old uh, Craftsman snowblower. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take some rubber, and um, and uh, you can use uh, the rubber off an old paddle off electric snowblower, or you can use like what I'm using, just a piece of rubber off an old mud flap off a transport truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a piece of that rubber out. We're going to place it on two out of four of the impellers. We're going to close that gap between the edge of the impeller and the outside of the housing. What this is going to do is it's going to clear the snow off the housing as the impeller turns, preventing the snow from building up and clogging. It's going to help to help help it that way to stop it from clogging. And it's also going to help to throw the snow much, much further. To start off with is uh, removing the chute. And uh, we'll get that off and then I'll be able to see inside and check the impeller and get it into the proper position that we need it to be in. And measure the size of rubber piece we're going to need. And then we'll cut the rubber and then we will screw it in with some self-tapping screws. Right there, you can see what we're after. We're gonna do is uh, measure up. Uh, it looks like it's a good uh, half inch gap, anyways, between the uh, impeller and the housing. So we'll get the tape measure out and see how long of a piece I need to cut. We'll cut it out and uh, then we'll uh, get her drilled in there. This one's got four uh, impeller blades. We're gonna uh, go ahead and do it only on two of them. I don't think you need to go more than two, uh, especially according to the other video that I watched. Uh, 65 Ford, I believe, is his channel name. He did this, and uh, his channel's got a ton of views doing this mod. So we'll go and we'll do that one and that one. Go ahead and uh, get a tape measure and measure this impeller. See how long of a piece we need. All right, so let's get this shoot off. Oh, looks like it's been off recently. I ended up getting this snowblower for free. It was having some issues. Not throwing the snow very far, up very easily. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need two three and a half inch pieces. Don't mind my pink tape measure. Nah. I had to borrow it from the wife. <laughs> so, get my knife out here, wherever the hell it went. I just put everything away today and I seem to have lost it all. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, well, my GoPro died on me, so it looks like I'm doing the rest of this with my handheld. So there I got my pieces cut. Right there like that. Three and a half inches long, and uh, I'll show you exactly how they are going to fit in on the impeller. Come over here, and you can see down in there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna close that gap with that piece of rubber. What you're gonna wanna do is make it nice and tight as the blade turns and it's going to contour that piece of rubber into the right shape that you want it to be. I gotta get the drill out and a drill bit and my self tapping screws. Now depending on the, the side on the age of your snowblower and the gauge of steel that the impeller is determine uh, whether you're gonna have to pre-drill or not. This old craftsman the blades aren't that thick so I should just be able to drill tap right through. So I'm gonna do that now, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, I didn't have a long enough extension, so I, so I had to take off the uh, chute, uh, for the hell you call it, ring? Fuck, I don't know. Hopefully I have enough room to get in there now. All right, little tip for you. I uh, had a hell of a time to fucking kept the, the self-tapper tapping screw kept fucking falling off the the socket so I thought oh you know what fuck it I'm just gonna pre pre drill it into the piece of rubber then we'll put it in and then we'll try and fucking screw it into the impeller so we'll do that all right there we go we got one done so we'll see here I'm gonna well, give me one second all right hear that see that shit Creeping. And as it as it gets used, it'll wear itself down so that it'll be the perfect shape 
to wipe that uh, housing clean. So we got that one done. We're going to do the next piece and then uh, we wait until it snows. Here we go. So we'll do this one and then we're fucking rocking and rolling until she snows. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I ran the snowblower after I got both of them uh, hooked in there, and you can see it's already got a bit of a taper on it. And uh, so they've run, and uh, it's basically tapered itself and worn itself down so that there's almost zero clearance now between the uh, impeller blades and the outside of the, uh, the housing there. So that's about it for now. Um, I'm just going to get this thing put back together. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm not going to be able to show a... Uh, well, maybe by the time this video goes up I might, but... There's no snow in the forecast, so I can't uh, show you a uh, video of how the mod works. Um, there isn't even any snow on the ground right now, to be honest with you. It's all melted because it's been raining so much, but... Uh, hopefully by the time I put this up it'll have snowed, and then I can... What I'll do is I'll put a link in at the end of this video. Uh, you'll see it come up on one of the annotations um, when it is available. So hopefully by the time this goes up. Uh, if it isn't, then uh, well, I don't know what to do. Hopefully it'll be up there at some point in time. Uh, but when it does snow, I'll get a clip of it and I'll low upload it to uh, YouTube here. And then I'll leave a link at the end of this video. I can go back and do that anytime. So... I'm going to get this thing put back together, and uh, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, yeah, so until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment, love the comments, uh, share the video, all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, take it easy, and uh, cheers.